Gold Squad TV. What up, what up? NBA season's around the corner, Celtics fans. We got Porzingis, we got Tatum, we got Brown. We got Derek White, we lost Marcus. Still got Brogdon, got Pritchard. Um, Hauser. Then we added some more pieces on the bench. Drafted, you know, we drafted a defensive rookie who looks to have a lot of upside, but see what happens. You know, those draft picks are always a roll of the dice. Um, This is the year. This is the year for Tatum and Brown and Porzingis now. If he can stay healthy, still got Al Horford uh, that comes up, he's probably going to end up coming off the bench or starting on certain nights when Time Lord is not in the lineup along with Porzingis. Um, I'm interested to see the type of a leap Derek White makes now being the point guard permanently. Um, he made a big argument to be defensive player a year, a year ago. Um, played very well. It wasn't enough, obviously. Um, Jaron Jackson won that award, but Derek White played on a high level defensively on and off ball. Um, didn't get it, but now the smart's gone. He steps into that lineup. How big of an impact he is a much better offensive player than, than Marcus Smart. Defense is kind of, you know, we all look at Smart and think that, you know, he was a former defensive player of the year. Um, so his legacy will never be erased in Boston. Overall, as a, a player who is a tough, greedy defender, we're not expecting Derek White to replace that. But Derek White, in his own right, could hold it down defensively. So, Tatum and Brown. Now, Brown just got his deal. I expect Brown to get better and better and better. People hating on Brown. I'm not even going to go into that can of worms. Because it seems like people, the minute, the minute I even mention Jalen Brown, even before the contract extension, you know, people have some type of weird hatred for that dude. It's just weird. And then Jason Tatum, who is a great player. I'm not denying that. I still feel like there's something missing with him. And I just feel like his killer instinct sometimes just isn't there. He did have 41 points in that game seven. He played lights out in that game. But that Miami series left me with a little less to be desired. I know the whole team didn't play well. Um, Tatum got hurt in game seven. But man, it's like... I feel like he tendently underperforms more often than not in big moments. You know what I mean? It's just I feel like he needs to finally say, this is my team. I'm the best player since he wants that title of being the best player on the team, which I don't think he's the best player. I think it's a 1A, 1B. Um, And a lot of people disagree with me. That's on them. But... Tatum needs to start playing like that number three pick that we thought we were getting. It's all-star, don't doubt, four-time all-star, former all-star MVP. I get it, but now I want to see some postseason success here, man. I want to see him dominate. I don't want to see him just be good. I want to see some consistency and some killer instinct from Jason Tatum. Like, we all know he's talented. No one denies that. But he underperforms a lot in big moments. I'm still not over that NBA Finals um, turd show he put up. You know what I mean? Just two finals ago. I need to see this man play with a mentality of, like, no one can defend me going to the rim. and Stop settling for difficult shots, man. That said, um, this is make or break, man. It's like we either win this year or it's a wrap. We got to win it this year. Gold Squad TV, leave a like, subscribe. What are your expectations for the Boston Celtics this year? Gold Squad TV.